Hi, in this slide we're going to look at uh, concepts, uh, nomenclature, vocabulary, uh, specifically adoption curves and their life cycles. In 1962, a guy named Everett Rogers uh, published a book about how fast the population <coughs> adopts new ideas. He noticed that farmers took a generation to kind of uh, adopt a new idea. So he did a lot of research and he found out that there's a bell-shaped curve of kind of open-mindedness or progressiveness. So here's the bell-shaped curve. You can see that right here. And he said the people that do things very early, you know, are innovators. They basically get the big picture. They see what's going on. They'll take an idea, you know, a solution that's even half uh, baked, and they'll they'll they they will be part of the co-creator process to to get it uh, sort of finished and going. Once there's a, a you know more mature, full established product, then the early adopters will start to pile on. There are people that say, you know, I get the picture, but I'm not buying it until it's really goof proof and you know I can I can get parts and service and repair for it or whatever the 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 proposition is. Um, then at some point what they call the early majority piles on, so this is sort of the thundering herd. But there's another big group that sort of holds back called the late majority, and they tend to, uh, they tend to be skeptics or maybe they, uh, the particular idea is not that appropriate for their world and their niche, whatever they're doing. Um, or they're just sort of saying, you know, the prices are going to come down and then I'll buy it when it's more affordable. And then finally there are people that just kind of don't want to change. They're laggards. Sometimes it's a, it's a, kind of a, a even a, a sort of a spiritual or a lifestyle choice for example there are religious sects you know think of the Amish that say you know whatever has been invented past 1694 we really don't want to do it unless it really is uh, key for for family um, purposes or whatever now if you take the demand from the innovators and then you add it to the, the demand for the adopters, this, this next curve is called a life cycle curve. And so you start to see year to year sales uh, or usage of an idea or product or whatever start to take off. But eventually it matures because there are no more people to buy. In other words, the pail is full, the market is saturated. If it's a product that wears out, like tires or batteries, then there is an ongoing replenishment demand. People just keep buying the same old stuff, but they it wears out, they have to buy it again. If you have a product that lasts forever, then it sort of is a difficult market to have something going on after that. Now, once we understand these concepts of adoption curves and life cycles, we realize that at different stages of the life cycle, we're selling different people different things, or when it becomes mature and everybody knows exactly what it is, we're not all about selling new stuff and making a market or teaching people how to use it. We, people just want to buy it in the most efficient demand replenishment kind of way. So those are two key concepts we're now going to look into in, in great detail. Thank you.